Category Rules Exhibit Category Definition An exhibit is a three-dimensional physical and visual representation of a student participant's historical argument, research, and interpretation of their topic's significance in history. Exhibit Elements The student participant's analysis must be clear and evident to the viewer in the exhibit itself. They should not rely on supplemental material or media devices to deliver their message. The student participant's argument must be supported with, but not overwhelmed by, visual and textual evidence. The exhibit must conform to all general and category rules. The exhibit must not include takeaway items for judges or others. Size Requirements The overall size of the exhibit when displayed for judges must be no larger than 40 inches wide, 30 inches deep, and 72 inches high. Circular or rotating exhibits or those meant to be viewed from all sides, must be no more than 30 inches in diameter or diagonally. Here we have an illustration to show that. Measurement of the exhibit does not include the table on which it rests. Measurement does include any base that the student participants create, any table drapes that they provide, and supplemental materials placed on the table. Word limit. A 500-word limit applies to all words that student participants write. Each word or number counts as one word. Text that the student participants write include titles, subtitles, captions, graphs, timelines, media devices, or supplemental materials, e.g. photo albums, scrapbooks, etc., counts towards the word limit. Primary or secondary materials or quotes included on the exhibit or in media or supplemental materials or source credits, does not count towards the word limit. Student participants should rely on their own analysis, primary sources, and visuals to tell their story. They should use caution when deciding on the length and quantity of quotes, primary or secondary. Extensive supplemental material is inappropriate. Oral history transcripts, correspondence between student participants and interview subjects, Questionnaires and other primary or secondary material used as sources for their exhibit should be cited in their bibliography, but not attached to their bibliography or exhibit. Media devices. If used, media devices or electronics in the exhibit must not run for more than a total of two minutes and must not loop continuously. Any media devices must not include dramatic or narrative student involvement. Judges must be able to control media devices by using clearly visible and accessible on, off, and volume controls. Media devices must fit within the size of word limits of the exhibit. No external links. Anything that links externally, such as QR codes, is prohibited. Crediting sources. All quotes and visual sources, e.g. photographs, paintings, charts, graphs, must be credited on the exhibit and cited in the annotated bibliography. Source credits do not count toward the word total. Required written materials. Student participants will provide their required written materials for judging and will hopefully have extra copies as suggested in the handbook. I'd also like to note here that required written materials do not count towards the word limit. Your responsibility as a judge. The judges' evaluations are meant to help student participants improve their work in the future by highlighting their project's strengths and areas for improvement. If student participants move on to the next contest level, your evaluations will help them with ideas for revisions and enhancements. Even if they don't, your evaluations will help them learn from their mistakes. Therefore, be detailed in your assessment of their project on the evaluation form. Thank you.